absolutely no doubt in the minds of anybody paying attention that ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion have completely changed the way that we work, play, and live our lives. Most people who use it on the regular probably already know it can make your existing job much, much more efficient so that you can spend more time on the important things like your family. But what a lot of people don't know or seem to be ignoring is that it can make entire apps from scratch. Apps that you can sell as a service, as a product. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through seven different apps that you can make with ChatGPT and absolutely nothing else. I've made all seven of these without touching a line of code and four of them are already making money. If you don't already know me, I have an outsourcing agency called Lil Assistance. I live for efficiency and income diversification so that I can spend time on the things that really matter. Hey, my name is Christian, but you can call me Lil. The first and my favorite app is an AI image generator. Generated images like this one and this one. This AI image generator right here is very similar to the one that's on my Lil Assistant's website, which is generating tons of revenue as we speak. ChatGPT coded this entire thing in 10 or 15 minutes and I didn't touch a single line of code. By the way, for this idea and several others further on in the video, I've included source code down in the description below so you can have them, use them, sell them, do whatever you want with them. They're yours. How exactly did we end up at the airport? Five minutes. No. Good morning. <laughs> it's becoming an increasingly common part of my morning routine to come out here with a nice cup of tea and pour it directly into the harbor. No matter which of these ideas you decide to go with, you're probably going to want to become familiar with something called an Application Programming Interface, or API. To a non-developer, API or programming or interface sound like complicated words, but really it's just a fancy way of saying connect with somebody else's functionality. Twitter has an API, for example, so if you wanted to create something like a Twitter scheduler, you would send a signal to the Twitter API. They would say, here's the account that I want to post to, here's the actual tweet. Don't worry too much about that because ChatGPT is going to do all the work for you. It's just if you want to go do your own digging or Googling, that term API is a useful one. Which pretty much brings me on to app idea number two, and that is an AI writer. Just like Twitter, ChatGPT actually has their own API. And just like the AI image generator app, my website, lowassistance.com, has its own AI writer, which extends the ChatGPT API. What that means is that any functionality that ChatGPT has, you can put in your own application. You could create an application that is just ChatGPT. Back to the point here, if you're gonna create your own AI writer, one of the things that I really love about this idea is that there are just so many different directions that you could take it. Now my ChatGPT AI writer really just extends the functionality of ChatGPT because that's all I need, but you could easily make an app that, for example, I don't know, you input the outline of a novel with the characters and what type of development you want them to have over time and you could program it to send a bunch of different queries out that essentially writes an entire novel in one click. You could tell ChatGPT to train ChatGPT to be whatever kind of writer you want it to be. Now, they don't do exactly what I just described, but the company behind Novel AI, it's an AI platform specialized in novel writing, just raised $8 million in funding. And it's obviously not just about novels and not just about blog posts, which is what I do. You can make it better at anything or specialize in anything just by training it right or by crafting the perfect prompts. This is probably a good time to mention that I have a second YouTube channel, at Lil Assistance, where I go way more into depth into every little thing that it takes to run my various businesses. I get really into detail, really into the nitty gritty, into even the boring. For example, my latest video is a real-time step-by-step tutorial on how to build the AI image generator that I mentioned in the last point. So if you want to get really into depth, real talk, the nitty-gritty, go check out at Lil Assistance. Now, app idea number three is a custom chat widget. Pretty much every modern website has something like this, has some sort of chat widget. Intercom is probably the gold standard in terms of chat. But for the most part, they're still either live agents or just canned responses. Even Intercom, which I just said is the gold standard, at least in the tech world, just has predetermined automations. Enter in a brand new company called Chatbase. And when I say brand new, I mean months old. What they allow you to do is enter in all of your company's information, all of their facts, all of the wiki, everything that somebody needs to know, including the style with which they talk to customers. And it uses that information paired with ChatGPT to provide a real human sounding 
AI chat widget. I mentioned this in one of my recent business idea videos, and it's quite amazing how far these guys have gone. I mean, they're charging customers upwards of $400 a month. I used ChatGPT without touching a line of code and built a working prototype of their exact product in about half an hour. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that step-by-step -step tutorial on the Atlo Assistance YouTube channel, because honestly, I don't know how popular these things are going to be. Idea number four, build an SEO tool like SEO Surfer. SEO Surfer is pretty much the gold standard when it comes to SEO optimization tools. It essentially grabs the top 10 or top 20 search results for a given key phrase that you want to rank for. It then analyzes those pages content with something called NLP or natural language processing. What you can and I did do is tell ChatGPT to make an app that combines data for SEOs, SERP tracker API, with Google's NLP API. What ChatGPT will do, or what it did for me at least, is it will build an application that uses the SERP tracker API, which grabs the top Google search results, downloads them, feeds them through Google's NLP API, and it will essentially return back all of the associated keywords that you need to use in your text to rank for the keyword that you gave it, the one that you want to rank for. Where you take that from there is obviously up to you, but what I did is I told ChatGPT to go ahead and create a text editor that grades my text, what I enter into the text editor against what it expects to see. The results, the, what I got back, was actually remarkably similar to Surfer SEO. I compared them side by side, and Surfer SEO has $8 million a year in revenue. So <laughs> needless to say, I'm actually incorporating this in the next version of our dashboard. If you go into lilassistance.com and register to use our dashboard, which is free by the way, comes with tons of tools. We're gonna be building this into it. That's the next thing on the agenda. Idea number five is pretty much anything that requires a map. In my case, I built an app that allows people to submit photos to specific spots on a map, and then other people can use those points to map out you know, basically what they wanna see. My idea was so that tourists could use it to plot out the route that they wanna take to see what they wanna see in a given city. The API that I wanna talk about is through a company called Mapbox. They make probably the most beautiful maps I have ever seen. They're completely customizable. You can do pretty much anything you want with them, and they have an API that ChatGPT can use to make any type of map-based application that you could imagine. I mean, think parking app. You can use a traffic flow API to create better routes for driving or for whatever. App idea number six, create an automated Canva. If you're an entrepreneur, you probably already know and love Canva as that super easy, super simple graphic design tool. I did manage to get a functioning image editor out of ChatGPT, but the idea that you could just create the next Canva alternative without touching a line of code is absolutely bullocks. It's not gonna happen. However, after I got done with the working image editor, you know, the one that's not as good as Canva, I got to thinking, you know, this doesn't have to have a UI at all. It doesn't have to have edit functionality. And I found usefulness in creating a small tool that simply took a photo and superimposed text over it. If I was just gonna do this once, obviously I'd just use Canva, but I didn't just want it once. I needed this to happen 5,000 times each with a unique photo. So naturally, I just asked ChatGPT to build me an application that superimposes text over images, pick a random image from a directory, and go one by one each of these sentences. If you subscribe to my newsletter today, you will see this application in action. You'll get an email with a picture of your spirit animal, and at the bottom of it will be your name, like Christian spirit animal. But your use case doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. You could easily create a tool that allows a user to upload a bunch of image templates, for example, and then bulk create their social media. Just one example. If there's one thing that makes me think we shouldn't have won the Revolutionary War, it's the beer. Maybe the beer is the reason that we won the war. Anyway, cheers. So last but definitely not least is you could ask ChatGPT to make your own API. I've been talking about APIs from the beginning, and if you haven't caught up yet, an API is essentially a way for you to send a signal to another service that will perform some function, can be any function, hopefully it's useful, and then send a signal back to you with a response. The very first example that I gave is the Twitter API. If you wanted to create some sort of Twitter scheduler, you would need to tell Twitter, you'd have to send a signal to their API with the Twitter account that you're posting to and the actual tweet. 
But obviously, as you can imagine, an API can be any number of things. The only qualifier is that it performs some useful function and returns a response. You can ask ChatGPT to create your own functionality like I did with the image and text superimposition Canva automation. It's essentially an API, at least the way that I use it. I have a URL, I have a server, I send a signal to the server just with the user's name. It uses stable diffusion to generate an AI image and then it superimposes the person's name on top of the image as well as the little assistant's logo. And then it just returns that image so that it can be used in an email. That's it. Ultimately, you can make an API out of anything that you find useful. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is you can ask ChatGPT to make a ChatGPT API that simply translates text into language. So if I were to send a signal to your server with the text that I want translated, it would simply return the translated text into the language that I choose. What would happen is a client could send the signals to you, get their response, and they'd pay you every single time that interaction happens. There couldn't be a more simple way to make money, but most people overlook it because coding seems complicated. But it's obviously not limited to just things that you can do with ChatGPT. I mean, you could take any of the functionality that we've already discussed, turn it into some way to just generate a response, and you'd have something useful. I mean, you could have an API made by ChatGPT that simply accepts a one word input, generates a title, generates an outline, optimizes it using Data for SEO's API, and Google NLP's API, just like we discussed earlier, and then returns an entire article. There are two really great things about building an API. The first one is you don't need a graphical user interface or something visual that a customer could see. That's probably ChatGPT's weakest point. ChatGPT is really great at this backend development, at this creating this simple one functionality. And the second thing is you do not have to worry about marketing nearly as much because you're not marketing to customers, you'd be marketing to businesses. The businesses will figure out how to scale on their own. You just have to sell them one functionality. Say, if you need translation services built into your app, if you need map services built into your app, if you need SEO optimization built into your app, it will do it all automatically, simple. You don't have to do any coding. All you have to do is plug into my API. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button because you are not gonna wanna miss my next video.